Hello, 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 and thank you for joining me once again. This is Brandon from Rooks Inc. And we are today, we're going to draw the many, many different sketches of <laughs> Blade. One of my uh, friends wanted me to draw Blade. Um, she actually commissioned me to do so. So I'm uh, going through, um, I've been looking through references of references on how to uh, what I should what this character should look like and I definitely want him to look intimidating want him to look cool at the same time He's a very cool character uh, for those of you that don't know who blade is um, Blade was introduced in as a supporting character actually in the Marvel comics the tomb of Dracula number 10 on July 1973 um, <laughs> a Very old comic if you have that comic. I definitely recommend that you get that thing um, um, Framed or whatever just get it get it taken care of um but uh what i was doing um i was going through references or different references um what i was saying before um i looked at wesley snipes drawings um well not drawings but um just his figure and how he does things uh different poses and whatnot uh back in 1997 uh to, uh, I believe it was uh, 97 or 98. Um, I also looked at the uh, series uh, Sticky Fingers uh, actually played Blade as well <laughs> and back in the uh, 2006 um, time frame. And then um, I didn't really see many references. It was a lot of bunch of fan-made stuff uh, for Mar Mar Mahershala Ali, uh, which is going to be the new Blade in the Marvel uh, cinematic universe. Um, I didn't want to do nothing with him, make him look like that. Cause I don't know what they're going to have him look like, but, um, as you can see, I, on my second sketch right now, and, uh, this is, um, not looking as good as I wanted to <laughs> tell you the truth. Um, so I just definitely, so I'm actually on the third sketch right now. And, uh, this one, I'm just, um, going through trying to figure out what I want to do, what, what I want him to look like. I definitely want him to look cool, but uh, definitely this was a challenging aspect that I just went through. And um, as you can see here, I'm just uh, trying to figure out what I want him to do. Uh, have his eyes open or mouth open, um, uh, make him look intimidating, but I also want him to look cool. I definitely want him to have the blade, the sword, and show all that, you know, all that he is because he's Blade. Hey, he's, he's just a really cool character, and uh, I'm glad I was... Uh, I guess I was like, I'm really glad and happy that I was commissioned to do this drawing. So just a little background on the Blade character entirely. Um, it was um, created by writer Marv Wolfman and uh, penciler Gene Col Colin. Um, these guys, I mean, man, talk about genius right here. Um, uh, the Vampire Deacon, so pretty much uh, what Blade comes from is uh, the Vampire Deacon Frost bit Eric Brooks' mother, which is Eric Brooks is Blade, uh, while she was pregnant with him, uh, resulting in the birth of a human with all the strength of a vampire and none of their weaknesses, save one, a never-ending thirst for human blood. Now, I, I don't know, me and my brother, we used to joke around and be like, Daywalker, Daywalker, what are you doing, Daywalker? <laughs> so we'll just, uh, uh, I don't know, since I work night shift, um, sometimes when I'm up and during the daytime, I feel like I'm a daywalker a lot of the times. Um, I just, you know, people normally don't see me during the day. Um, I'm, I'm a night shift person, so uh, I draw at night, I draw all night, and um, I sleep all day. So, you know, if I'm up during the day and you see me, definitely say hello uh, because I am what you say, uh, Blade. I am Blade, um, the day walker. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm joking. But uh, definitely, yeah, that's where this character comes from. Uh, so I'm just going to go in here, uh, sketch some more. I definitely like the way this pose is going right now. So I'm definitely just going to render it out here and uh, see where it, where it takes me. Um, I, think, I think I got a winner here. I think I have a winner for sure.
So, Blade first um, came to me when I was, um, <laughs> believe it or not, it was when I was um, watching cartoons. Uh, remember, um, Fox had a cartoon called um, Spider-Man. Amazing Spider-Man is Amazing Friends. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, it was Spider-Man. And um, it was on Fox. And uh, when Blade first appeared, he that was my first impression of Blade. I mean, look at this guy. Just, just, let me just look at this guy. He... He didn't really look anything like what I thought he should look like. I don't know. Maybe that was early Marvel. It was the 90s, so you have to take an account for that. Um, but as the, as it went through, as it went forward, actually, um, I began to see um, uh, Blade as Wesley Snipes. And, and then when Wesley Snipes came out, I was like, wow, okay, now this is Blade. This is Blade. So I was like, man, now this is really cool. And so I started to, um, um, that's that was my history pretty much of what, how I first got introduced in Blade. It wasn't through comic books. I'm sorry, fans. It wasn't through comic books. Uh, it was through cartoons and animation and then movies later. And then later I started reading some comic books, um, checking out what Blade was all about um how cool he is and how he uh pretty much goes through life and whatnot um trying to rescue and save other people and um that was my rendition of blade bah, bah, bah.
I'm drawing, I'm drawing, drawing, drawing. This is my pen, this is my pen. It's a pen, it's a pen, it's a pen, it's a pen. It's a pen. Hey, how are you doing? <laughs> yes, I am using an AR emoji, which you can find in your... Ooh, see, touch the face. It's kind of weird, but you can use in your Android program. Ha <laughs> ha! But as you can see here, I'm just going through on Blade. Um, I've definitely jotted in all the colors, um, everything that he needed to be awesome. <laughs> and we all know how Blade is awesome. He does wear a lot of black, though. I mean, I'm not really a black kind of guy because I like to wear in blue a lot. I don't know. Maybe it's just, maybe it's just me, but hey, who knows? <laughs> but anyway, uh, I like this AR emoji thing. It's pretty cool. But um, as I'm going through, see, uh, here's, whoa, here's my pen. I use a um, XP pen here. Uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, pretty close to drawing. I guess, <laughs> illustrating all kinds of things. And right now I'm just going, I already went through the blacks here and I'm um, going through, uh, just putting in a lot of the details, uh, a lot of details that you need to make this drawing really stand out. And if it don't stand out, then it's not going to be any good. You know, it's not good. You're not going to like it. You're not going to like it. It's not going to be good. <laughs> okay. Sorry. I'm just, just having too much fun with this thing. It's just really really weird i mean it just follows my every mouth movement and everything i do but um definitely just putting in the details here uh, having a little fun as i do so and uh stay tuned uh, there's definitely some more going through on this one <laughs> so right now just further working through on the blade drawing um just putting in the uh uh, little details of where his hair, uh, his uh, fro, and whatnot. Um, definitely, if you see me go through this, um, I just want you to be aware that I am working in Clip Studio Paint uh, Pro. Um, it's a really cool program. Um, you can do all kinds of things. You can do animation, um, illustrations, uh, comic book, um, comic book, whatnot. Um, and right now, I'm just uh, putting in the highlights. As you can see, I'm just going to smear those in. There's a blur tool that I use as well. It's pretty cool. Um, you uh, just pretty much go through, um, you can definitely uh, see right now, just <laughs> you can see flashing through the layers there. Um, and what I want to do with this one, I wanted to make like a highlight um, on this face. So you can definitely see that he's the uh, day walker. So you can see he's definitely uh, day walking. Um, the sun has no effect on him. He is a vampire. I just want to keep that in mind. Um, and uh, that the light, you know, sunlight doesn't affect them whatsoever like it does normal vampires. And I'm um, just uh, going to work through this here. Um, oh, I put these like little little blade like uh, vampire stabby things on his legs. I thought that was pretty cool. A little uh, thing I just kind of made up there that might be pretty cool on him. Um, definitely messing around with the background as well. Uh, I'm not sure if I wanted to. The background I mess around with a lot, as you'll see in the final when I come through here. Um, you'll see in the final that I um, I definitely uh, decided to do something completely different with the background. So uh, just stay tuned and uh, ba -ga -ba -doo, you'll see what's going to happen. Crap, 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 coo